the four duets are late masterpieces of Bach already written in the city of Leipzig. They come from 1739, so it's 11 years before his death. Uh, they form a part of the third part of his so-called Klavier Übung, uh, keyboard exercise. Uh, when Bach uses the word Klavier, he of course he doesn't mean the Steinway piano, but he means all the keyboard instruments of his time. The, the clavichord, the harpsichord, the pedal piano, and the organ. Um, these duets are most probably meant to be played on the organ, on two manuals. Um, but here, as opposed to the two-part inventions, uh, we are dealing with very, very complex forms and very complex um, counterpoint. Uh, Bach has reached here the, the zenith and um, the most that one can say with, with two voices. Um, there are four pieces, E minor, F major, G major, and A minor. So it's a scale, an ascending scale two in minor and two in major. And uh, in this clavier übung, which uh, includes the partitas, the Italian concerto, the French overture, the, these duets and the uh, organ pieces, and the final volume is the Goldberg variations. So here we can admire and observe Bach, the scientist. He sets himself the most difficult tasks and he, he solves them to perfection and beyond. Uh, what can you do with two voices? scale, ascending and descending, and the lower voice is very chromatic, yeah. and so Bach exhausts all the permutations of this material. The next piece couldn't be more different. Again, a kind of a Brandenburg concerto. And not chromatic at all. But when we get to the middle section of this piece, then the, the mood changes because <laughs> now, the one voice says this and the lower voice imitates, so it's a canon, it's a canon in fourth. So always a quarter note later, the lower voice imitates and then he turns them around so it's, it's an inverted counterpoint. And the second duet is in A, B, A form, so three-part three um, construction. Uh, 
The G major duet is a very gentle dance. Again, it's very useful to know as much of Bach's music as possible because, for example, in the Goldberg variation, the canon in unison is a exactly the same kind of music, or in the St. Matthew fashion. soprano aria at the beginning of the St. Matthew Passion. Uh, and finally the A minor duet and very dramatic, uh, full-blooded music. Uh, so first you have an A, a minor triad, <laughs> and then with three notes descending. So always. Um, he is using those just those three neighboring notes, descending and ascending. And then come uh, a dancing uh, third motif enters, but in the bass we can still hear the three note motif. So these are the four duets. These little masterpieces that are very seldom heard. So please listen to them with attention. <laughs> 